What's up? I'm Hawaiian Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Masters video. Uh, we're going to take a quick look, and I'll start with this screen so it does show my friend code if you do want to add me. Uh, so, I was looking through some of the new sync pairs that you get, kind of like for free, and I was trying to look for some interesting things. I feel like a lot of them weren't that interesting, but Electrode, or this is Voltorb? Voltorb, I do, do feel like has some potential. Uh, with the Eerie Impulse, sharply lowers the target's uh, special attack. And kind of like my current strategy is I just use Sceptile the tank and I use something like uh, Lycanroc and Infernape or Trico to just DPS the opponent down. And then I use the third one to basically buff uh, those two up. But I want to try Voltorb and instead of buffing up my other sync pairs, let's try to debuff my opponent to see... Uh, by lowering special attack, so hopefully Sceptile can stay alive longer, which will allow the rest of the team to stay alive longer. So we're actually going to try to test this out. And unfortunately, the super courses that are currently available, I feel like they don't scale. I think they scale with attack, but given Voltorb's own stats, um, Lieutenant Surge's uh, Electrode should also scale with special attack, just based on the fact that Voltorb itself does a special attack is higher than its attack so I'm assuming Electrode follows something similar and the only thing is these guys will probably barely tickle my septile so but maybe we'll get a like a percentile idea of how effective this strategy is all right so basically what I'm going to do is allow Electrode to use its sync move against me and then I'm actually going to do it again, uh, only we're going to lower its special attack in between. And okay, yeah, so the uh, three damage. <laughs> I wasn't sure how else to run this test. I think if there's when there's a super course that uses special uh, special attack. But yeah, I think right now it's Dusclops and uh, Sceptile, and like, at least Trico is very even, and then uh, Dusclops is very attack focused, or at least that's its stats imply that. Uh, so the downside is obviously that Eerie Impulse does require some move charge. Alright, here we go. So the first attack will do a whopping 29 damage. And we'll allow him to do that again, only we're going to lower his special attack to see how much of a difference it makes. But, uh, so the, the whole, you know, oh, well, you're using your ch charge moves. I wonder if we can offset just by raising speed to hopefully offset the, the move cost. And right now we're using Trico, but it um, Trico is like while, while he's like powering up using his stuff, it does use so his uh, no turning back does use does use charges too. So maybe it's a better thing with Lycanroc, but I, I figure like while you're you're using all your buffs, like that's okay. You don't. And we do have Sceptile to kind of like raise up our charge whenever we need it. All right, so this, the one thing is like a lot of the super courses, they kind of have this um, steady resolve, which lowers the, mitigates the lower of special attack. All right, so, okay, we went from 29 to 17. So that's a significant uh, reduction. Uh, it's unclear to me that if you were to use this against like stronger enemies, uh, how, whether that will stay true, but I think it's a positive result or a pretty good result, like almost cut to like 40 to 50 percent. Uh, so I think now we'll try to essentially what we'll do is we'll take on the other super core Dusclops and we'll basically use Swana, which is my current uh, favorite, like kind of like buffer, and then. We'll see how that goes, and then we'll do it with Electro to see, um, you know, how smooth it is using, or whether it's just better to just go full attack with something like Swana or to use Electro to debuff your opponent. 
and obviously if you're going full attack the the battle will go quicker but I w maybe our, the correct gauge is how much life uh, Sceptiles, oh Superior, I keep saying Sceptiles, Superior has after we defeat the Dusclops. So let's first go Swana. Problem with these uh, tests is that you only have so many times to face these guys, so. All right, Swana first. And so all we're gonna change is that character just to see what the difference is. Alright, so go full buffs, and then start attacking. One uh, advantage of Swana, it also has potions, will obviously, which will obviously keep your can keep your tank alive a little bit longer. All right, so oh boy, we only lost like what was that twenty percent? Superior, so good. All right, so maybe like twenty percent to get rid of the dust clops, and I don't know, was that 40 50 percent for the whole battle? Alright, so this time we're going to do the same thing. I don't think, I think Dusclops is kind of like attack focused, so this is not exactly the best test. And. Oh, we got a gym book, nice. Alright, so let's do the same exact battle, only with Elec uh, Voltorb to debuff our opponents. Actually, I don't remember. What, what is this other thing? Other sharply raised uh, users. Um, no, I don't think I want to try. The only problem with the his own stuff is kind of not very good because, like, to raise your own special attack, you only have one attack that does damage. Uh, it is 47. It does have a chance to paralyze, but not ter not crazy about that. All right, here we go. So let's do this and this. Oh, we're gonna need to pop some speed too. We can drop that and while we try to get some speed up. Just because we uh, want to use no turning back still. Pop one more of these. This, use this, and there. Right, let's start attacking. Not sure if that was a co correct sequencing. Uh, should have got a couple more. Let's see how much this does. One thirty. Oh, superior is already pretty low. Superior just fainted. All right, so it might just be the fact that Dust Clops is more attack focused. So it's not exactly a great way to measure this. I might lose. Oh, it seems it keeps avoiding my attack. Um, yeah, so it seems like going full, at least in this test, going full attack is the appropriate approach. Um, I don't know. I wonder if there's there going to be content later on where it does kind of have an advantage of debuffing your opponent. But uh, from our own tests, like just go all out attack. I mean, Swana does have the potion too, which is um, obviously help with the survivability. Alright, so not the exact result I was hoping for, however, um, from, from facing Electrode, actually, you know, it reduces attack by like, or the sync attack by almost 40-50%, so I still think there's potential there, um, but whether or not it's better than the going all out offense. Um, I don't know, it, it seems like maybe you're just better off just taking out your opponent. 
Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me if uh, down the road that kind of changes where you just need to kind of like last as long as possible while you, so you can get enough DPS out. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are and what of all the new sync pairs that you kind of acquire for free, which ones have you found particularly interesting? A lot of the other ones, yeah, they're don't sound that good to be honest i haven't tried many other ones but uh if there's anything that you want to see tried let me know in the comment down below and uh yeah thanks for watching guys stay tuned for a lot more pokemon masters content to come in the future i'm one turtle and i'll catch you guys next time